Welcome to another episode of Hub Chat. Hi. Today we are joined by the lovely Harry. Hi. Harry, welcome. Hello. Uh, purpose of these is just to give you an opportunity to, well, tell a little bit about yourself really so that we can all get to know each other a little bit better. So, um, to start with, if you could just tell us a little bit about, you know, what work, what you're working on at the minute, what kind of projects do you get involved with? Amazing. So I work for a marketing agency, PT, yep. uh-huh. um, the every, Everyday Agency. Yep. And we pretty much do everything within the digital sphere. Yep. So all yeah. kinds of marketing, press, PR, social. Yep. So across everything at the moment, especially this year. Sure. A lot of different things. What's been your favourite project you've worked on this year? Oh, there's one called Together for Healthcare Heroes. So uh-huh. we're working with this initiative on the island to give away 10,000 holidays for healthcare workers. Amazing. Which is really cool. Super cool. Fucking cool. Yeah, and how did you get pulled into that? Was... I can't take credit for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's a, long, a mix of lots of other people, yeah, but we're, yeah, yeah. we're basically the media agency slash marketing agency that's working on it to get this story out there. So. Amazing. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. It's good. It's nice. It's feel good facts. So. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Really good. And uh, your, your story with Ibiza, when did that start? Um, I mean, really moving here last year. So uh-huh. one year, pretty much one year. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And had you been much to the island before? Or? Not really. Okay. Not really. Not like a die-hard seasoner like or anything uh, like okay. that. Probably like maybe a handful of times, six, seven times, and if you've got six or seven fingers on a hand. Yes. And did you, uh, did you have any kind of preconceived notion of what it was going to be like? Or? I did. I thought it would be probably kind of like... It's going to sound really cheesy, but kind of like less collaborative, and uh-huh. less open. I thought everyone would be well in their lane uh-huh. and really fighting for like, you know, their business, their brands. And yeah. almost was expecting a lot more kind of, I don't know what the right word is, but you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, be yeah. a lot more close to what more. they are. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. trying to do their thing and just trying to like smash it and own it, which I guess yeah. maybe some yeah. elements of the island do that. Of but course. from like, you know, business level. Yeah. From yeah. what we do and people here that's not the case so. yeah it's kind of the opposite right? it is an eye opener like yeah. it's far more kind of like community yeah. than I thought it would be yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. that leads nicely on to the hub so, so you've been on the island about a year but you've kind of been here for a year for right? a year you yeah, basically yeah. straight in and this yeah. was one of the first sort of yeah. experiences of the island the first. so um, yeah. the hub what is the hub to you? what is the hub to what me? is the hub to you? I, it's it's pretty much everything, yeah. to be honest. It's uh, it's work, it's personal development, it's fitness, it's personal growth, it's business growth, it's um, community, meeting people, it's socialising. Like, literally, I mean, I could go on. It's like anything on the website I've done, as yeah. you know. I've been there, <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. in a picture on yeah. the website. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's like, again, I've surprised myself because you usually, like, try and draw some kind of parameters around where you spend your time. You go, I don't want to spend too much time at work. Yeah. Or I don't want to spend too much time going to the same place. But yeah. it's... That's not the case. Yeah, do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like a natural draw. Yeah. Wicked, and again, it's people's the part of it. That's sure. That makes a big, a big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big, big part. Yeah, we're very, very lucky now. Like, it's just a beautiful community of people, isn't it? Yeah. So that makes it, makes it very easy to go to work. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Because it was like 20 people. Sure, it was, it was different. Mm. And we, this whole situation has liberated that experience for everybody. For sure. Um, what would you say to someone that sat at home, whether they're in New York or Berlin or London, and they're thinking, one day I might move to Ibiza? I'll do it. Yeah. Do it, 100%, because... I've been in a WeWork in New York for like a year, yeah. Madison Avenue. Okay. People were pretty shit, and the coffee was pretty shit, and the weather was pretty shit. And okay. So the president's pretty shit. Um, so <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but no, it's um, it's more than that. It's more than just the work and the desk yeah. place. Like you know, all it takes is like five days. You know, yeah. Met enough people. Wicked. You know, a mix of people. And how about on the island? Like what? Does, you know what do you what keeps you busy like in the winter what do you mm. like to do for fun like how do you uh, without running the risk of sounding like a uh, plenty of fish advert but like <laughs> literally all of the outdoor activities yeah and then you know it's, again like it's only really the people that live here that work here they're here through the winter so it's like proper community driven and I know yeah. you did loads of stuff last year here at the hub 
uh, winter sessions. Yeah. You know, it's like opportunities to me, yeah. mingle, yeah. learn new things, go to talks, you know, get yeah, into yeah, the yeah. realms of stuff I never thought that I, I want to know about, but sure. now I do, and drink a lot of red wine in that process. There's quite a bit of red wine in the winter, isn't it? It's great. Yeah, it's yeah. all good fun. But I mean, that is just like really enjoying the island. It's locked off, but yeah. like the remaining like 30% that's open. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, nifty. yeah. It's yeah, great. Yeah. Cold, but nice. Wicked. The, um, and just like the way we're kind of wrapping these things up is we're asking people to think about you know what is there like a career achievement or a personal achievement that you're most proud of we're just trying to keep inspiring stories going nice okay um i think moving here is probably that yeah to be honest yeah. i think you know it's been like a lot of different steps a lot of different layers a lot of different jobs different size companies different cities different countries but i think that for me personally now at like 35 to like settle in somewhere where i like ticks all the boxes yeah of that whole like life social yeah, yeah, yeah. you know kind of checklist what's good yeah. I'd say that that's probably it. It's the wisest move. Yeah. You know, Vita doing an adult job, living like an adult, eighty <laughs> percent of the time. Perfect. Yeah. Nice yeah. one. Lovely. Harry mate, thank you very much for joining us. God bless.